How much energy does it take to separate the charges of a capacitor? We'll figure that out by the work required to push charge from one plate of a capacitor to the other plate. And that work required to separate the charges is going to be the energy stored in the capacitor. Or you can equivalently think of that as the energy stored in the electric field between the plates of the capacitor. So what I've done here is plotted voltage versus charge for a capacitor. So recall, as you put more and more charge on the capacitor, that requires a higher and higher voltage to do it. If we want to charge the capacitor up to some charge Q, the voltage required to get the last part in is Q over C. The voltage required to get the earlier part in is quite a bit less. So the total work required is going to be the area under this triangle. The area of the triangle is going to be half the area of the rectangle. That's a height V and a length Q. So that's just going to be 1 half Q times V. We don't always know what the charge Q is. We might know just what the capacitance is and what the voltage is. So if we happen to know the capacitance, then we can solve this for capacitance and voltage and get 1 half CV squared. Or alternatively, we might know Q and not the voltage. For instance, if we know the capacitance, we want to know what charge is stored on it if we know how much energy is in the capacitor. Now here we're using Q instead of C, and we get 1 half Q squared over C. All of these three formulas are equivalent. They're related by the capacitor relation. Capacitance is charge divided by voltage.